Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. We're gonna try something from Shake and Bake again. So far it's pretty good, they got different flavors now. I mean, don't knock Shake and Bake. I know the old days, I'm in my 50s, so Shake and Bake was like the thing back then. And not impressive, but they've come a long way. So we're gonna try this crunchy pretzel with chicken breast, as you can see. That's one chicken breast that I sliced right in the center of it, so made two thin fillets out of it. Um, that's plenty enough for the husband and I. So, but I was thinking, listen, when you get a pretzel, you can dip it in mustard. I'm gonna coat one of these pi uh, pieces with mustard. I'm not crazy about mustard, regular mustard, but this right here, this brand right here, Ingelhofer, they have different mustards that you, there's some with sriracha, there's some with bacon. Oh, it's just lovely. So this one is with sweet hot pepper and I'm gonna try it. This is the only mustard I buy anymore. Like the ground mustard I make my deviled eggs with is beautiful. And Walmart carries it too, so. Okay, so these things, it just tells you to moisten the chicken or pork, you do pork. And they got some recipes in the back. All right, so I found this at Walmart. So those little nuggets looks good, doesn't it? All right. So like shake and bake, it comes with your shaken bag. <laughs> got two bags so you could do two different types so that's why one's gonna be with mustard one's gonna be with nothing all right so I'm gonna smell this let me get my pan ready before I get all dirty up here I'm gonna use a flat pan you can use a regular pan just take the paddle out and spray some olive oil on the bottom with the Evo sprayer links to the stuff I use is under the video description I get all my stuff on Amazon because it's a beautiful place all right, so let me put this one in there. And it's been rinsed and uh, just like, don't pat it dry because you need a little bit of moisture to have this coating. Let me smell this. Well, it smells like pretzel. Okay, there's plenty enough for more chicken. So I can just use one pouch. I think I'll be in the uh, shake, shake, shake. And I help. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna lay that. It's not gonna take very long too because it's thin sliced, okay. All right, so that one, let's do some mustard. Instead of dipping it in mustard, we're gonna put the mustard on the chicken, yeah. Okay, so let me baste both sides and then I'll shake it and then I'll change it to the air fryer. You can see I'm gonna put the rest of this bag in there and that'll be plenty so one pouch I can save the other one for something else all right let me finish this all right so this is what I'm seeing it, I'll tell you it smells like it smells like pretzels uh, the one with the mustard the coating sticks a lot better it looks like it's more like it's gonna I don't know it just something's better with it this is a little little light coating on it it's still gonna be all right though but we'll see what's better what, what works and what doesn't work so let's turn the bottom on, the top one, number four. Now you're gonna cook this till you reach the temperature of 165, okay? So invest in a, a, one of those handheld thermometers. You gotta have that when you have an air fryer, just to make sure your, your meat's cooked properly. So it's not gonna take very long. Um, yeah, I'm gonna spray the tops of this, but not right now. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and I'm gonna spray the tops with this, okay? The oil is very, it's a very light mist on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'll let you know how long the co total cooking time. All right, guys, that was about 13 minutes. So again, if you have big, a thicker piece of meat or whatever, you need to check the temperature. It took me that long to get to, it was 167. So I was like, good. You gotta check it really fast. So every couple minutes it jumps up like five, 10 degrees. Like it's very fast in the air fryer. All right, so Tom's running late today. So I'm gonna try this for you. That is bacon wrapped asparagus. That's my favorite way to do asparagus these days. It's very easy, very simple. I spray it with some Tang stir fry oil. Well, I wrap it in a, one slice of bacon, a bundle, and uh, spray it with some Tang stir fry oil, salt, pepper, boom, done, air fryer. It was done in like 12, 30 minutes. Still the bacon's cooked. Everything on high. Anyways, that's a little side item for you. So what should I try first? I should try the plain one just to see what it tastes like. You know? Let's check it out. There was juices flying out of this chicken when I pulled it out of there. Here we go. It's moist as you cannot believe. 
Mm. It does taste like pretzel. Crunchy, man, a little bits in there is a little crunchy, but yeah. You could juice it up a little bit. I'd put a little bit more salt in there because, you know, the pretzel has to have salt. So a little salt could help. A little pepper, too. You know, you could juice it up. It's a nice coating. We'll see what the mustard does, though. That gave it a nice, crispier version. It's a little darker, a little crispier. That's the bottom, by the way. There's no flipping with the DeLong air fryer. It's got a bottom burner, so that takes care of it all. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Yeah. For sure, this way, thousand times better. Plain as is, it's all right. You know, it's a little plain. But if you do it with the mustard, like I showed you, this mustard. If you don't like spicy, they got regular mustard too. It's just a good mustard. All right, I'm going to rate this. Okay. It needs zhuzhing, so it's not that impressive. But if you're uh, able to zhuzh it up, then yes, by all means. It's got a light little crunch of the pretzel in the back. Nothing too serious. But it's, it's nice. It's not bad. And in one pouch, I covered those two pieces of chicken. So it goes a long way. So it's like a, not even more than two bucks. I can't even remember. Okay, a scale of one to five. I'm gonna give it a four. It's not. It's not a strong four. I mean, it's it's a good coating. It just needs tender, loving care. All right, and that's where this comes in. I do those two together, I'd give it probably a four point seven. Okay, but there you go, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye bye.